Hey everyone, that Damien the Ditch here from the Eight Minutes with once more. Bring you a one vs. one Dawnable Source Storm replay on the uh, moon base map. So yeah, I don't think we see this map too often. Although I've played a couple of times on it myself, but um, I don't see many commentaries, or too many replays on it, should I say. But anyway, we've got the uh, lovable uh, Notazim uh, apparently playing on behalf of some clan called SNS. Um, and against him is going to be Fuku. So in the previous game, although it might be the next game depending on the order of uh, videos actually. In fact it probably will be the next video. But in the case, in the other Soulstorm commentary that will be uploaded on the same day I suppose. As this one, uh, you would have noticed that they uh, actually played against each other before. So it was Fuku playing as the uh, Dark Elder and uh, Notice in playing against the uh, Space Marines, as the Space Marines, right? Um, so just having a look at their opening builds. So yeah, it looks like Notice is going for a similar build to the one he did previously. A couple of uh, Scout Marines, Listening Post, Plasma Generator, Force Commander to begin with. So pretty standard stuff there. As for Fuku, he's got a couple of uh, Stealth Suits, which I'm sure are going to be very annoying uh, later on. And uh, he's actually going to be starting off with a... Um, Tau Commander assisted by Crute Carnivores. Interesting. Huh. You'll usually see a Stingwings, uh, Vespid Stingwings being deployed as well if they're going for that sort of build, um, especially with no Fire Warriors or anything, but uh, what the hell, maybe he'll be able to make this work. As for Nodazim, he's floating some resources at the moment, should be spending them on uh, you know, Plasma Generator or any just about anything really. I'm assuming he's going to make a Space Marine Squad new... Apparently not. And here we go, we've got um Oh that's right, yeah we need that stuff. But anyway, we've got the um flamer ability being upgraded for Fuku and yeah, it looks like he's just going to kite the uh, force commander a bit. In a straight up battle actually, the um force commander would be able to beat the uh Tau commander, but here we go. With a bit of assistance from the crude carnivores, that's not going to be the case. Oh, what do we have here? Nodazim is actually going for a quick tier two. Wow. <laughs> and now that's an interesting thing to do, to say the least. And he's actually sending a scout marines. I'm assuming f he's drawing the. Um, yeah, I think he's trying to draw the uh, crude carnivores into the uh, back into the tail players base to actually buy himself a bit of time. And he's actually got the tail commander in melee. Wow, some very bad micro by Fuko actually. There we go. He's finally jumping him back, but the damage has certainly been done. It's going to be. Ha have to be very careful with his Tower Commander, because these upgrades that he gets here, they all disappear when the Tower Commander is killed, and of course those upgrades aren't too cheap. So yeah, certainly an interesting um, tactic to be used by uh, Notizum. I didn't quite expect him to go with an early Tier 2 like that. I mean, this is about the earliest Tier 2 that you can go. I mean, you can go a bit earlier, you can skip going with the Force Commander, but then you basically got uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Really, nothing to um, defend at all except, you know, your initial scout marine squads. And one of them has already been killed. Tower Commander still being a pain in the ass. But I have to admit though, notice him's done a pretty good job keeping this um, Force Commander alive. Although you'd think, even with the amount of requisition and all that that he's floating, he'd still want to, um, you know, bring out a couple of Space Marine squads out. Unless if he's going to be going with... Nope, he's not. He's going to be going with a... Um, Chaplain and oh, Sacred Artifacts. He might actually be going for the Triple Hero build. Wow. About the earliest um, Triple Hero build that I'd say. Yeah, about the earliest Triple Hero build that you can actually get. Will it pay off though? I don't know. I mean, he's still going to want to build the um, Armory, which he just ha doesn't have anywhere. And he's certainly going to want to keep the um, Force Commander alive, because uh, when you use the uh, Hero units um, in tandem, then, uh, yeah, they become much more powerful. Oh, what do you know? Okay, so he's not going to be going for the Librarian just yet. He only got the Sacred Ar Artifact to get the um, Grey Knights. So, he's actually going to be going for a bit more of a elite troop heavy build. Although, he's probably going to go for the Librarian uh, shortly after as well, when he can actually afford it. But still, Chaplain, assisted by Grey Knights, is a very potent... Um, Combination to say the least, and here we go, these crit carnivores are certainly going to fall to such a ridiculous combination. Actually, I wonder what that Tower Commander's been doing. Ah, oh, here we go, he's up to tier 2 as well, he's going for the advanced pulse rifle, increases damage. Yep, okay, so yeah, just so that is, um, 
Fire Warriors have a little bit more range. So just taking out the last. Pretty sure it's the last um, scout marine. <laughs> Interesting build to go with. Let's see, is he going to go for a librarian? I'm guessing he is, given that he's not going for anything else. And. Oh, okay. Bit of a misclick there with um, his Grey Knights there. So, yeah, Grey Knights, of course, with the Chaplain are a pretty potent combo, providing that you can slow down a squad with the um, Chaplain's shout ability. Yeah, something like that. Unfortunately, yeah, for whatever reason, that weren't able to. And, yeah, basically, their Inquisition ability wasn't able to do too much. Oh, here we go. We're getting some elite troops for the. Um, that's our player as well, though, bringing in a couple of Pathfinders just to, um, you know, set the Michael Light ability on the uh, Grey Knights and all that. And here we go, Talcoman going into melee against the Patel. Uh, sorry, against the um, Chaplain and barely being able to survive, although I'm guessing he's probably going to get killed off now. Just needs a couple more shots with the um, Bolt Pistol. Should be able to take him out pretty quickly. It's interesting. Okay, Talcoman hasn't been floating or anything. And here we go, here comes the. Uh, Librarian and the armory for the um, space room player. So Furco, <laughs> certainly a bit surprised at what um, at what Notizim has done actually. And oh, okay, anti fire warrior tactic indeed. Yeah, it was certainly something to say the least. So yeah, pretty good build to go with apparently against um, such a tower player. Although um, Furco might not have been the best tower player to say the least, but still. So he was he competently played the game. What the hell? But anyway, we are uploading this game as well, even though it was pretty short. Oh well. And yeah, until that happens, this has been uh, Damien Tudvich signing off.